holiday season, so why not put some muscle behind that hustle so that you get everything accomplished and keep your spirits in the season? I've created a workout series that contains five different circuit workouts to keep your body on track, challenge yourself, and maximize your time. So let's go ahead and learn the first workout. The series starts out with a total body strength workout. So before we get started, let's make sure that you're all set up and you have the right accessories. Your incline will be placed at a medium to a high level, depending on your strength. You'll have your pull-up bars attached and make sure that you have your ab crunch accessory. Now let's get right into the warm-up. Always start out with a dynamic warm-up so that you prepare your body for the workout. So that could be about three to five minutes. So you're already set up to a medium or a high level and we'll come down to an incline plank position. From right here, you're going to mountain climbers. And make sure that you keep your core in tight, shoulders are on top of your wrists. You can take these into a diagonal mountain climber or you can take it into a little run. Then you'll go right into push-ups. From our push-ups, make sure that your arms are parallel to each other and the elbows come right down towards the ribs. From right here, give it a little stretch and then turn and face away from your tower and you'll go right into a squat and a twist. So you're gonna press your hips back all the way and then as you stand, lift the knee and rotate over. So we're just warming up our upper body, lower body, as well as our core. So you'll do 10 to 15 reps of each exercise and you can repeat three sets. Once you're done with the warm up, move right into the circuit. So the first exercise are pull ups. Come to a prone position, cross your legs, and you'll lift your body all the way up so that you bring your head towards the tower. Make sure that you're activating and squeezing the shoulder blades together each time. The next exercise are knee tucks. So face away from your tower and place your hands at the bottom base. Your feet are onto the glide board and you'll open up. You'll tuck your knees in towards your arms, keeping your upper body as still as possible and really drawing in the abdominals. Now since the incline is at a higher level, this is a lot of upper body strength as well as your core. The next exercise are lateral lunges and pulses. So stand at the bottom base, place one foot onto the glide board and keep that leg straight. You'll bend the standing leg so that your nose, your knee and your toe are in the same line and then you'll stand back up. So it's a very short range of motion, but you have a lot of weight that you're pushing up to the glide board and pressing back with the hip. So you're really challenging the standing leg. Once you've done 10 to 15 reps, you'll hold it at the bottom and pulse. Stay as low as you can, pressing the weight in through the heel each time. Then you'll go to the other side. Now you have a little transition. Lower your incline to a low to medium level, remove the pull bars and attach your cables. You'll come down to a seated or a kneeling position for rows and static rows. So from right here, you wanna make sure that your spine is elongated. You're drawing the elbows parallel and behind you, squeezing the upper and middle back. And then from right here, after you've done your reps, you'll go right into a static row. You can get, keep it going by picking up your speed, or you can go super slow. You can also challenge your body by lifting it up into a high kneeling position. Now you're already set up for your next exercise for bicep curls. Lift your arms up and away from the body and keep them parallel as you curl the arms in towards the shoulders. Keep your spine nice and elongated. And then once you've done 10 to 15 reps, you'll go right into the static curl again, trying not to move the glide board. You'll pick up your speed. And again, you can also lift it up into a high kneeling position. Now we'll turn it around, have a seat on your glide board, and place the cables underneath of your arms for a chest press. From right here, you can change the angle. But after you've done your reps of 10 to 15, you'll go right into the static press again as slow or as fast as you'd like. And the last cable exercise are alternating front and side raises. So come down to a supine position, extend your arms out by your hips. You'll take your arms out to the side, bring them in and then straight out towards your chest. So you're just alternating this motion back and forth. And if you'd like, you can bring the knees up to intensify the core challenge. And of course, you can always make it harder by extending through the legs. Just make sure that your lower back is pressing down into the glide board at all times. Now it's time to burn out your core. So remove the cables and put on your ab crunch accessory. The first exercise are knee tucks. So bring the glide board up the rails and kneel at the top. 
Your shoulders are directly on top of your elbows at all times. So you'll tuck the knees in and out, making sure that you're activating and drawing your navel in each time. Once you've done your desired reps, so turn your knees to the side and do the same exercise, but for your obliques. So you wanna really make sure that you're feeling it into the waistline. You'll come back to the middle, knee tucks again, and then go to the other side. And you'll finish it up with straight leg pipes. So extend out through the legs and you'll lift the hips up and down. Again, upper body stays nice and still. You really wanna activate through your core. End your workout with a series of stretches so that you lengthen the muscles just burnt. Good luck and challenge your body and get your muscle behind that hustle.